everybody, welcome back to another episode of Craving Shaving. Uh, again, time to clean up the old uh, beard. I haven't been shaving nearly as much. I let this go a lot longer than I normally would, just a clean shaven face, but I'm excited to get this shave on. Um, the soap that I will be using is this one. And this little sample thing. Now, this came to me without a label from Prohibition Style. And I have been informed that it is Peaky, blind, uh, peaky Blinders. So, that is what I will be using. It is a Fougere. Is it a Fougere? It's, I think so. It's like Fern and Neroli, isn't that what Fern-based things are? Or Fougere? I don't know. Let me know <laughs> what exactly makes a Fougere in the comments below. But... It's nice. I, if, I don't know if this is a typical fougere or or what, but I like it. I definitely get some green, I'm guessing ferny <laughs> scent. And then, I don't know what neroli is. But this stuff, it's, it smells really nice. Almost edible in a way, um, which, which I enjoy that. <laughs> um, let me go ahead and wet the face and I'll, I'll jump right in. All right. When you're doing just the neck area, <laughs> it's really hard not to waste soap. <laughs> but, ah, what do you do, right? So this stuff's super creamy. This is the new soap base from Prohibition Style. Really nice stuff. Um, it's funny because I've been told, and I've seen this in reviews and people just talking about it in forums and things and on Instagram, that the old version of the Prohibition Style soaps were really hard to get a lather out of. The, the new one, insanely easy. So whatever the switch was, it was a good one in my opinion. Okay, I'm going to start against the grain, which on my neck is, is up. Oh, yeah, and I'm using the Timeless Bronze Razor, so, and there is a Barbado blade in there. I just got them recently and given them a go, and I, I, I like them so far, I think. Pretty good. The weight of this, the way this razor is weighted is absolutely phenomenal. Okay, better not wheel too much against the screen yet. Alright. Yeah, I, I really like most of the Prohibition style sense. And I'm really glad he, because this is not one that I would have bought. I would have, thought, I would have seen Fern and Neroli and gone, mm, yeah, not my thing. But it actually really is my thing. In fact, I really like this. A fly bugging me. Shoe fly. Oh my goodness. Do you guys see that? Or is it, you <laughs> look like I'm swatting at nothing. That actually reminds me, um, my brother-in-law has this thing, hold on, save that thought. I'm going to rinse some of this off my face and we'll come back for another pass. One second. Okay. Um, <laughs> anyway, my brother-in-law has this thing that I think is both entertaining and funny. <laughs> and useful. Kind of all rolled into one. It's called Bug Assault, I think. And it's a little toy shotgun that you load table salt into and then literally just blast flies out of <laughs> out of the air or while they're standing on something. And I think that is 
awesome. <laughs> Um, just table salt, all it takes, because I hate trying swatting at a fly and it moves right before you get it. There's no, I guess it's pretty effective with this salt gun. Well, summer for me is officially over. Had back to school night tonight, which was pretty good. Got to meet some parents and students. It's gonna be a fun school year. I tried to tell, tell the students and their parents that we're gonna just let them know that we're gonna be doing science fair projects this year. And there's two reactions. There's, oh. And, oh, <laughs> so it's funny to see those two reactions. I'm really excited to see what the kids can come up with this year. So I'm trying to decide if I need another. I'm just going to kind of bring this from my beard. A lot of it's trapped in there and just kind of do some cleanup stuff real quick. This stuff smells really good. It's just kind of a fresh, green, yet yummy scent. <laughs> I don't know if that's informative or not. Um, for those of you who know what fern and neroli smell like, because <laughs> I, I, I don't think I've smelled either of those by themselves, so I'm just guessing at kind of which scents are which in this. Um, but maybe you can elaborate a little bit in the comment section. Okay, let me clean up again. We'll come back for some post shave. One second. All right. <laughs> okay. When you put beard balm on, they say to dry your uh, beard hair 90% of the way. I don't know <laughs> what that means. If you're like, 89, 90. Okay. We're good to go, I think. Okay. Before we do that, though, I'm going to use Razor Rock Sicily as my aftershave. I think the vanilla in this will do really really well with that Peaky Blinders. Peaky Blinders isn't a drink. Most of you know Prohibition styles are after Prohibition era drinks but Peaky Blinders is actually named after a gang uh, that I believe was in the 20s around the time of Prohibition but um, it might have been just before or just after that. Um, and then like put Razor, well they're different rumors of how that gang got the name. One was that they put razor blades in their hats and they'd hit people in the face with their hats, which doesn't sound very nice. But I'm wondering if that's why he chose that gang name as, as a scent, uh, scent name because they of the razor blade connection. I'm not sure. Um, okay, and we're going to go for the beard with mini mustachery Consignment Beard Balm. Only about another week of this full on beard. And it's probably going to be gone. At least the sideburns. And I'll keep the goatee for a little bit. Alright. And that should be good. for the beard. Give it a little brush through. Oops. With the good old boar bristle brush. 
and we're good to go. Hey, thanks for tuning into this episode of Craving Shaving. Um, for those of you interested in the whole uh, shaving brush thing, I just poured a whole bunch of new blanks that I haven't gotten around to turning yet with the start of the school year and stuff. But there will be some new brushes on their way. I just did one that's purple and gold tonight. I'm really interested to see how that one is going to turn out, blank wise. Um, and I've got you know just some some other ones that I'm really excited to dig into. I got some new like pigments, so I'm experimenting a little bit right now. Um, so that will be coming up soon. Other than that, I think that's it. Thank you again for tuning in to Craving Shaving. Hope you have a wonderful day.